Hello guys, and today we're going to be making an election prediction video between the current United States Senator Debbie Stabenow from Michigan against President Trump from the Empire State, New York. Of course, Debbie Stabenow is from Michigan, which Trump won in 2016, so that will help her in that state. Um, and of course, um, President Trump's unfavorability ratings, of course. Um, but before this video starts, um, I hope you do please subscribe, please like, comment any suggestions, and if you um, do skip to at the to the end of the video, just tell me if you disagree. I don't want you to, of course, to skip to the end. But if you do, just tell me if you do disagree with um, any of my projections. If you believe I, if you disagree with my call, um, and I'll put in, um, I'll give you reasons for certain states if you do ask for them. So yeah, um, Debbie Stabena, um, being from a state like Michigan. Um, being a very popular incumbent, of course, she is up for re-election in 2018, so that, um, so that'll be crucial, um, but yeah, so, her being from a state like Michigan, which Trump won, um, will help her in certain cases because she will be able to win these, um, she will have a, she will have the capability to win the state, um, um, she might not end up winning, um, but she'll have a better chance, um, I do believe she will, um, in more, if polls were to be conducted, I believe she will have a lead. Um, she's very popular in that state as well, so that'll also help her. Um, yeah, so, also, um, because of, um, President Trump's unfavorability ratings in many of these states, um, it'll also be close, um, so this will be the current map, 190 for Debbie Stabenow to President Trump's 164. Um, and if you take a look at these sta uh, the states that are too close, I did put Iowa there. Um, if you take a look, um, they are these um, Eastern Atlantic um, states in Georgia, Florida, Virginia, North Carolina, Rust Belt states. In the the five Rust Belt states, you could say five, six. Um, and again, up here in New England, New Hampshire, and that one congressional district in Maine, and in the West, traditionally more um, diverse, more Latinos, which um, again will help her. I believe she will be able to appeal more to minorities, which will um, that will play such an effect into this call, which I believe will um, be in Minnesota, and that will be for Debbie Stabenow because. Um, her being from the state of Michigan, a state of, of from the Rust Belt, um, I believe she will have that appeal to Reagan Democrats, the people that are in these states, especially in Michigan. I believe she will be able to appeal to Reagan Democrats, as I say, um, the white working class, um, women voters, um, pro-life and pro-choice, um, and yeah, she's pretty moderate, so that is why she has been reelected many times. Um, I don't think she'll be able, though, to appeal enough to African Americans in a state like Georgia to flip that state. And same thing in Arizona. I believe um, she won't have enough appeal to win these two states. Um, again, because Georgia being a um, highly with um, a lot of African Americans, um, and Arizona having um, many white voters still, um, despite the growing Latino population. Um, which and in some predictions, like maybe in a Joe Biden scenario, they could e she, um, he could easily flip that um, state. But I don't believe she um, that be Stabenow will. And same thing with Iowa, because President Trump has many inroads with the white working class um, farmers, rural areas in these um, toss-up states because of her, uh, because of his likability by these rural people, these more traditionally Republican people. Um, white um the white working class as you say um the white um middle class as well so that'll help him in the states and that'll say that will go along with that will continue in north carolina because again um his appeal to many white voters in the states um the latino population will go in favor of debbie stabenow again there is a growing po um, latino population in this same thing in georgia but i don't believe um um, she will be able to appeal to enough white people, um, white, um, fantasy, um, people where she will be able to flip the state. As a majority of, in many of these states are, in, um, or, um, whites, of course. They are three-quarters, um, 
there are a um, they're getting a smaller portion of the population now, slowly by slowly, but they are um, but they are um, a huge majority of the st of the population in the states. So yeah, so um, and I'll just say we'll have our first first flip of the night in Michigan. Her home state will go for for her, for Debbie Stabenow, I believe, because again. Her favorability in the state of Michigan, Trump's unfavorability in the state of Michigan, is is very off, um, and will help Debbie Stabenow in the end, because, um, shut up that book, because of um, her um, likability from the state of being able to appeal to the people in these states, I believe she will be able to win the state, and the same thing with Wisconsin, because I believe um, again, her being from the Rust Belt, this will help her being able to appeal to many um. Um, people in these states like uh, minorities again the white working class though in the rust belt she will be she will be able to appeal to um though i don't believe she will be able to appeal to the people in the, in that one congressional district in maine so i believe president trump will hold that one congressional district in maine again they do split their electoral votes along with nebraska as you see down here and they split they split their electoral votes by congressional district so that is why i believe president trump will carry that state um, that congressional district, excuse me. Um, and then we go along to Colorado. Um, we'll leave that actually for now. I do believe though she will carry Virginia because again, a growing African American population in the in the um, DC suburbs here in Maryland and um, well yeah in the DC areas down here near Virginia Beach, another big growing um, population center, many African Americans in the state. And yeah, um, though. Um, I don't believe she will be able to win Florida. Is that she will be able to appeal many to many older people, many African Americans, um, minority voters, um, and um, white um, white um, race people. But I don't believe she will be able to um, have enough appeal and get the vote out in the state because again, this state is um, is um, in favor of President Trump. If you see in his, his approval rating, I. Um, his approval rating um, may not be the best in Florida, but if you go person by person, county by county, um, um, you will see a major difference of the people. So, and also, approval, um, approval ratings in many states don't matter um, because um, it just comes down to the people voting. Because um, in many scenarios, they could um, win or lose, um, the, even with a bad um, approval rating. But yeah, so. We have five states left, um, two states that President Trump won, three states that Clinton won, um, and I will say Ohio will go red, because again, this state is turning more and more conservative by the minute, by the day, excuse me, because again, President, um, there, e there has even been um, a recent CNN interview with four Democrats that um, switched to the Republicans because of um, Trump, and they do still believe that um, he is doing a good job, so I do believe people in Ohio do believe he is doing um, a great job. So that's what I believe um, that that state will hold for him. And if you see, um, just by winning Pennsylvania, he put it puts him over the top, or he could win with New Hampshire, and Nevada. But I will say, um, Colorado will hold for Debbie Stabenow because again, minority voters in the central suburbs, the Denver suburbs in Colorado. We'll put her over the top. She will win many key counties again. El Paso um, will be closer. Arapahoe County will be closer. Um, maybe not closer, but um, she will win that county. Same thing with Jefferson. And you have to win those counties as a Republican to win Colorado. But I don't believe President Trump will be able to. And, I'll be the, and I believe it will be the same case in Nevada. Because, again, down here in Reno County, she won't be able, um, he won't be able to get um, keep the margins low. In Washoe County, Carson City, um, these small counties, he won't be able to bring out a lot of the vote. But I do believe um, she will be able to um, run up the score in these um, um, big populated centers. Um, so if you see, um, though I do believe actually President Trump, I do believe we'll win New Hampshire because again, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. President Trump won this by less than one point in 2016 against such a great uh, against a strong candidate, maybe not the best. For the Democrats, but a great um, sorry about that, um, a great um, 
candidate like Hillary Clinton. Um, of course, she could have done better, but uh, even I don't believe anyone expected for President Trump to win this state, um, this state, and for it to be as close as it got. I believe it was um very um hard. So we'll give him the benefit of that. And finally, Pennsylvania. We have we could give it to either side, which will give them the win. And so. As of now, I do, I'll be brutally honest, I don't believe President Trump will be able to hold this state. But, I do believe President Trump can win this election very easily. I believe, again, he could flip Nevada. Jordy puts him over the top. He could flip maybe Colorado. That puts him over the top. He could flip Virginia. I could go on and on and on with states he could flip. But, we'll give Debbie Stabenow the benefit of the doubt of her appeal. Because of her appeal in these Rust Belt states, again, like in Pennsylvania. In Michigan, in Wisconsin, in Ohio, Minnesota, I could go on and on and on. But again, I don't believe President Trump will be able to um, repeat his performance that he, like he did in the Rust Belt, like especially in Pennsylvania, in these um, in the Philadelphia suburbs. I believe she will be able to run up the score. She will be an ender- um, she will be able to bring out the vote, um, bring out these African Americans who didn't come out to vote in 2016 to come out to vote. And I do believe she will be able to. Um, Potentially, I will say, potentially take out, um, take the win in this election. Um, but again, I do see again a path, a very easy path for President Trump to win. Because again, just win Nevada, a very a state that he almost won in 2016. Again, he could easily win this just by flipping that state. Along again, he could carry another of these states just by carrying one other state. He could win this election. So that's why. I'm saying Debbie Stabenow in this prediction does win, but he could easily win again. So I do hope you did enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you, if you did enjoy. Please subscribe if you did enjoy. Um, we just hit 200 subs and 9k views. We're about to hit 10k views, which is going to be an astounding accomplish, um, accomplishment. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. I hope you do like. Please subscribe. Please comment any suggestions. And I'll see you in the next video.